Welcome back, everybody. This is Joey Bankert here with Triple Play Fantasy. I am back to bring you another must-add player for your fantasy teams this year in 2023. I hope you guys are having successful fantasy seasons so far. We're pretty far underway in the season, so starting to get a feel of who your guys are um, and what areas you're looking to fill at this time of the year to try to get back into the race if you're not doing too hot right now. So I do have another player that I think will be a great add to your teams. And without beating around the bush, we're just going to get right into it this week. This week's player is Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel is a listed as a wide receiver, but he is sometimes used as a running back for the Washington Commanders. He is 28% rostered in sleepers, 17% in Yahoo, and 14.7% in ESPN. So there's a lot of availability for Curtis Samuel out there, so you can go out and get him. If you have some fab, you might be good to throw a couple dollars on, um, but you might even be able to get him under the um, under the radar and sneak him onto your team just with a traditional waiver claim. So what has Curtis Samuel been doing this year? Uh, he has 15 targets over the last two weeks and two touchdowns, one rushing, one receiving. He's getting into the end zone, and he's starting to get more and more targets from Sam Howell. Um, so why should you look to bring him onto your team? He is the number 33 receiver in fantasy right now, uh, which isn't the best, but the fact that he's in the top 35 um, and is available at this point in the year, that's a great option if you're looking for someone to stream week in and week out. You can pick him up to fill a void. People are getting injured. Justin, Jeffers, Justin Jefferson's hurt. We don't know how long he'll be out. Um, Cooper Cup just got back. Um, injuries are happening. Rosters are getting shaken up. The buys just started last week, so you're going to have holes to fill, and Curtis Samuel is a guy that you may want to add. So if you're looking to add him, Terry McLaurin is 27th receiver in fantasy this year. Jahan Dotson, who a lot of people, including myself, thought would have a breakout year this year, he's 62nd among fantasy receivers this year which means that Curtis Samuel is almost 30 spots better than Jahan Dotson right now in fantasy. Curtis Samuel's averaging 12.3 fantasy points per game, which is pretty good if you're looking to stream someone in your flex or even in your wide receiver uh, spots on your rosters. He's a gadget player. He's going to be getting some looks in the running game. He's going to get some dump down passes. Uh, Sam Howell has been doing a pretty good job of checking down and hitting guys like Curtis Samuel and Logan Thomas with a lot of receptions. That's why guys like Terry McLaurin and Jahan Dotson aren't really taking off this year because Sam Howell isn't really pushing the ball to those guys. He's taking what the defense gives him, and sometimes it's a check down, and Curtis Samuel seems to be the receiver who is benefiting from that so far. He has 23 receptions on 27 targets, which is 85% of his targets. He is catching the ball, which is a pretty good percentage and means that um, he's getting a decent amount of targets for a, a fringe guy you may want to add to your team. So that's about it. I think Curtis Samuel is a guy you may want to pick up and just plug into your rosters if you have a couple receivers on a bye or one of your receivers is getting hurt. He's going to get you what he's at right now, about 12.3 fantasy points per game, which is a great addition to your rosters and will hopefully help you get these wins throughout these buys and these injuries. Feel free to follow me at skycaptain25 and make sure to like and subscribe to Triple Play Fantasy for more content throughout the year. Have a great week. I'll see y'all next week.